Women with breast cancer in the metro area now have a new option for treatment. It's one that has been available at major cancer centers for years, and now that a doctor who grew up in New Orleans decided to come home, women don't have to travel for this procedure. Meg Ferris has the details in tonight's Medical Watch. Back in the 60s, Gail Del Corral was a fashion model. In fact, she started a phenomenon called the mannequins, modeling without moving. Her personal best, 13 straight hours. We offered $2,000 for anybody that can make us laugh. And I've had 52 comedians try. That got her on with Johnny Carson, David Letterman, Mike Douglas, Bob Hope, to tell the truth, and I've got a secret. I went all over the world as a mannequin, and my motto was, be a dummy and see the world. At 83, Gail is still the picture of health and fitness, but last month after her mammogram, she got a call many fear. And they did a biopsy, then they called me back in and said that it was cancer. But there was promising news too. It was stage one and a lump too small to even feel. But there was something else promising. Gail was recommended to Turo Breast Surgical Oncologist Dr. John Colfrey. I like to put your arm right there. Perfect. Dr. Yep. Colfrey and his team are the only doctors in the Gulf South now doing radioactive seed localization. It's a lumpectomy that allows the surgeon to take as little breast tissue as possible, leaving the breast looking normal without a defect and only a small scar. The procedure's been done at major cancer centers for 10 years. Dr. Colfrey trained at MD Anderson. I was hooked and I said, we definitely need to bring this to my hometown. The day of surgery, I said a prayer for Dr. Kofri that God directs his hands. And God, you did a good job. <laughs> Instead of a long God wire stuck in the breast before surgery to show surgeons where the cancer is, Dr. Kofri uses a radioactive seed the size of a grain of rice. It emits a low, safe level of radioactivity that acts like a GPS, guiding doctors precisely to the tissue that needs to be removed. And there's something else promising. The same targeted technology is used for the lymph nodes, so fewer are removed, reducing the chance for debilitating arm swelling called lymphedema. And the studies show another benefit. There is no difference in survival and recurrence with a lumpectomy and radiation versus a mastectomy. And we have 40, 50 years worth of data to prove that. And with chemo before surgery, this option can be open to more people. The chemo can shrink the cancer and it allows somebody who was once not a candidate for a lumpectomy to become a candidate for a lumpectomy. After hearing about post-op pain from other breast cancer survivors, Gail can't believe that she looks whole, only needed a Tylenol for a minor headache, and was cooking two days later. I'm just amazed. I keep thinking, why don't I have any pain? Thank you, God. Thank you, doctor. We take it very seriously. It's a privilege. And uh, I, I drive to work every day knowing how lucky we are. Now Gail will follow up with a course of radiation. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. A lumpectomy is for early breast, ca breast cancer and lumps up to five centimeters.